Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the live um, with the Twin Flame Ascension um, Take Me Home Oracle deck. We have, um, so we are going to see what do we need to currently know with the Twin Flame Journey, with the Twin Flame Ascension Path. So what is going on currently with Twin Flames? Um, we'll get a card for the connection and then we will get cards for masculine and feminine. Okay, now that we've said that, we will, what's going on for the relationship? Okay, so we get the card of Soul Merger, which is the ebb and flow card. It is also, um, how are your chakras feeling? Um, <laughs> spiritual awakening, shift or be shifted. Definitely a strong message with that. So we get the 3-3 three, three and the 2-2. Two, two. And the bottom of the deck is the card of Queen, Divine Feminine. So, um We are going to see where the Divine Feminine energy is. Divine Feminine, are you... I feel like maybe you're holding back and it's saying shift or be shifted. If you have been waiting for the masculine to take the steps forward, they're not going to do it until you do it, honestly. Like, you think you're going to wait for them to do it, but it's the holding pattern is literally we feel waiting on you. So we're going to get cards for the Divine Masculine first. Hey, what is going on for the Divine Masculine currently? And the masculine doesn't mean gender. Everybody, we all have masculine and feminine energy. So that does not necessarily mean male gender. Just whoever is carrying the masculine inner currently. So what? Okay, we feel like they're ready now. <laughs> Hi, Austin. How are you doing? We are doing great tonight. We just got this new deck and <coughs> we saw somebody with it and really liked it. And so we are doing a general and then we will get to you. So we are getting cards for the Divine Masculine. Actually, Celia said um, they're actually, um, they're a little... They're probably as wide as a regular Oracle deck. They're about as wide. They're just a little bit shorter, so it makes them appear a little a little bigger. And she said, um, I'm here in ladies first, so she's like not going to give me a card for the masculine. So we are going to go with the Divine Feminine first. She said I should have known that. It was, you know, the Divine Feminine on the bottom. So what does the divine feminine need to know right currently? Right. <laughs> Apparently we're waiting for someone. Um, we get the card of mission accomplished. Welcome home. We get the card of the generator staying grounded. And you get the card of I am enough. Let go of expectations. So divine feminine, I feel like you have been working on your energy of your self-worth, knowing you're enough. Yes, they are. They're kind of a, they're just slightly taller than long or wide. Um, so the masculine's energy is now ready to come out because it was ready to come out a while ago. So for the masculine, we get the card of High Priestess, Expanding Consciousness. So we, the masculine is working on their elevating, and we feel like the feminine is working on that self-worth. And we get the card of Open Your Heart, um, Set Loving Boundaries. 
And with this card, I feel like that's what the masculine is currently doing, working on, you know, opening their heart space. And we'll start with. So we'll get a couple of cards for the relationship and then masculine and feminine. It feels like the feminine has upgraded is maybe like the shift has happened, you know, have divine feminine. Have you awakened your Kundalini energy? Are you, are you going to that higher level? We feel like the masculine's definitely um, following the path. The eight of cups, you know. Looking for what's going to make them happy. How about that? We like that. <laughs> Maybe they've decided you are what's going to make them happy. I feel like they're having that heart chakra activation. They're, they're still holding on to something. That four of pentacles. I, is that four of pentacles you that they're, they're holding on to that they just can't let go of? But also with doing that, are they truly still not seeing your value? Because that four of pentacles isn't like the highest vibration, you know, because we see you're the queen of pentacles there. So. <laughs> but we feel a new cycle is happening with the world. For the masculine, so we're now going to see what is going on with the feminine. I feel like the feminine has moved on. She's just doing her own thing. She's enough. She's she's worked through the healing energy. She's got grounded. She's back to that place of feeling really safe and secure to be herself. The queen or the knight of wands and in this one it feels to me like you know she's just going to the beat of her own drum like sometimes that knight of wands is in and out energy and that horse is in the back but you know what it's kind of rearing up it's not necessarily running off and i feel like maybe that's what the feminine's doing maybe got her confidence and is kind of rearing up not taking anything anymore that's not serving her anything that's not for the highest and greatest good being aware of where she is on her path, being that beacon, that nine of wands. I always feel like, you know, that wounded warrior, you've been through the really rough stuff, but you know what? Now it's time for something much better. You're going to be the beacon. You're going to teach what you've been through. The bottom of the deck for the feminine is the 10 of swords, which is letting go of those thoughts of I am not enough, which is definitely the case. And now we're going to get some cards for the divine masculine. Hmm, looks like he's been studying and learning because we get the page of wands and the page of swords. So both pages are about messengers. Both are young, fresh, new energy coming in. I feel like getting new ideas, new inspiration, you know, trying to see where is this path taking him, you know. They're definitely elevating their conscious. And on the bottom of the deck for them is the Ten of Wands. Is, are, I think they're ready to put the, you know, the burden down. So the feminine had the Ten of Swords. The masculine had the Ten of Wands. I feel like they're both ready for this new cycle. So if you've been in separation, know that Divine Feminine, as you're, you're stepping into this place of knowing you are enough, you know, that mission is getting accomplished as you're stepping into your mission. And I feel like a lot of people are stepping in right now more than ever to mission. You know, sometimes we just don't wait for the masculine. So now we're going to get a couple of cards um, for the future. So we get the four of cups, the devil, and the two of cups. So we're just going to say the devil is Capricorn energy and we are having the second full moon of Capricorn on Sunday. Um, we had one at one degree Capricorn in June and now we're having one at 29 degrees Capricorn, which is really powerful energy.
So I feel like it's saying on this full moon, let go of whatever you, feminine you're still holding on to. Because the masculine's mirroring you. They're holding on to that four of pentacles. And you have the four of cups, which is the emotions of it. So as, as you feel your emotions of it, think. It was a great reference point. It was a great learning thing. It showed me what I did want. It showed me what I didn't want. But ultimately, if it's meant to be, it's going to come back together. And I feel like that's what's going to happen. I feel like that ebb and flow is saying it's coming back together. And I feel like that's going to happen between the Capricorn full moon and Leo season. You know, so like the next six weeks. Are you ready? Are you ready for that? And then we're going to get a couple of cards for guidance for the feminine. And we're getting the two of pentacles and the seven of cups. So feminine, it is your choice to really focus on what do you, you know, two of pentacles making a choice. That seven of cups, you can be in disillusion or you can say, I'm making this choice. It's going to go forward because he's like looking right, right at the bowl that could be causing, you know, that path from not really flowing to where he wants it to go. What's blocking it. And I feel like it's saying right now, make the choice to see what's blocking you for manifesting. And I feel like it's this energy of, I am not enough. So she said, we're pulling that one for the feminine too. So then we're going to shuffle a little bit. We're going to get a couple cards of guidance for the masculine. And for the masculine guidance, we get the King of Wands, which is about stepping into their power, the King of Pentacles. So we really like that energy for the masculine on the guidance. And then we're going to take the underlying energy of the Queen of Pentacles. So for the masculine, it's about deciding, is he ready to take action to bring this this into union is is he ready you know are you ready masculine to do this are you ready to step in because the masculine i feel a lot of the times is actually carrying the feminine energy and i feel like the masculine isn't really I mean, I carry the masculine energy and Dave carries the feminine energy. That's why I can relate to that. And I can relate to this. You know, am I am I ready to step into the powerhouse that me and Dave can be? And I am. We're working on so many other projects right now. It's very nice. And, and know that that opportunity is.